Hey guys, let's say that you have a domain that you're looking to use with ClickFunnels, phone sites, uh, Go High Level, Convertry, um, whatever uh, website platform out there. Uh, you want to set up a bunch of funnels or websites on that same domain and you want to make it pretty easy. Uh, maybe you want to make it easy for yourself or for a client where um, either one of you don't have to go into your GoDaddy or Google domains or Namecheap um, DNS settings every single time to set up a domain. What you want to do here is you're going to create a single A record with what's called a wildcard. And um, going forward, all you have to do is just make changes within your website platform, whether again, that's phone sites, click funnels, go high level and so forth. So for example here, um, this is a client that has their domain out in GoDaddy. Um, I'm going to simply uh, create an A record out here. Uh, I'm going to use high level for this. And again, you could use this for click funnels or something else. But in high level, uh, you're going to go into the settings section. It's over on the, the left hand navigation. So settings and then into domains. And then you can see right here, we've got some domains listed in here. I'm going to click into add new domain just so I can go ahead and grab this IP address. So ClickFunnels would have a different IP address. You know, Squarespace would have a different IP address. Phone sites would have its own IP address. So forth. But anyways, you want to grab that IP address, hop back over to your domain manager, like where I'm at right here, GoDaddy and then click into add. And then in this drop down here under type, the first field here, I'm gonna select a record. And then I'm gonna put in a asterisk. That's gonna be my wild card. And I'll explain that here in a second. And then I'm just gonna put in that IP address for go high level. Um, so basically, once I add this record in, um, any subdomain that I create back over here in high level, uh, it's going to automatically have that subdomain and domain, um, that website point back here, uh, back to back to high level. So by using this wildcard, it's going to essentially forward um, a user whenever they go to, let's say it's like go dot uh, gmail dot com or something like that. That's obviously a bad domain, but I guess this domain is ifgtx. So like if it was go dot ifgtx dot us. If I were to put that up in the address bar, once I set that up back in high level, that's automatically going to forward the user to the appropriate funnel that I create over in, in high level. So let me go ahead and add in this A record and then I'll show you exactly what I mean here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and click in add record. And then I'm done in GoDaddy. There's nothing else I need to change. Um, I've got this single A record set up in here that I need. And then I'm going to go back over here to high level. And then let's put in here, uh, let's say that I was going to set up a, a, a funnel that was like go dot, uh, what was that? It was ifgtx.us. And then I hit add. And then in high level, it's going to ask me which funnel to select for this. Uh, we'll just put in here, I'll just put this random one in here. And then hit link domain. And then I could go ahead and add in another one here too. Like if I wanted to create another one for like apply then that domain, set that up. And then I could associate that with the appropriate uh, funnel, right? So this is pretty simple because now my client, if they have access to high level, they could go in here and simply add in like I'm showing you. They could go in here and add in the domain. It's pretty simple. Um, if you have a go high level, you could use uh, Zapier and to create a, an automated form where your client, um, if they're signing up, uh, all they have to do is fill out a form and they put in what they want to have for like their subdomain or something like that. Or maybe you use like the last name or something like that. And it automatically creates all this for you. But this is super simple. Um, it doesn't require anyone to have a rocket science degree to have to go into, into back into GoDaddy or back into Google domains to set up all these A records. You can just set up this one wildcard record and that handles being able to set up multiple sites on one domain using various subdomains. Anyways, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this helps you out. Thanks.